Hi all, so I'm going to show you how to make these wrist warmers. Now, I'm going to do one video per pattern, so it's actually going to be three different videos, but each video is actually going to show you how to make two sizes, because the only difference is the size of the hook. These ones at the front here all have a 3.5mm hook used, and these ones at the back all have a 4mm used. So all you're going to need is a slip knot, as usual. Now, I, just, I make my slip knots by having a tail end. Make sure you leave a good tail end, because you want to weave, weave that in at the end. But And then that's my working yarn, which I pick up like this, and then I just twist so that tail end is over the top of the working yarn, so that I can then grab the working yarn and pull it through. So, and that, and... For the small, we're going to start with 30 stitches. You'll hear my paper that on it, because I've got the pattern beside me here. Um, so we're just going to do 30 of them, and then we're going to join, because we're going to work in the round, okay? So to do this chain to start, we're going to chain two, but then we're going to go back into that first stitch, and then we're going to yarn over and pull back through. Now we're going to create first the chain stitch, which would be your starter chain, and then we're going to create the second row, which is um, single crochet, which is UK double crochet. Okay, so we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through just that first one, and you've now created that chain. So then we're going to yarn over and pull through the two, and that would be our single crochet or UK double crochet. So that's what we've created straight away. Now I'm hoping this yarn isn't blowing out for you as it is on my camera. I know sometimes the yarn blows out, but it's actually fine after I've done the editing, so I'm hoping it's going to be okay for you. But so now what we're going to do is we're going to go, we've just created our stitch there, that's the stitch we just created the chain. So we're going to go into that one. It can be a little fiddly to start with, but you see we're collecting the V. So we've got the two there, that's the V, the two legs. That's what you want to go into each time. So we're going to yarn over and pull back through. Now remember we create the chain first, so yarn over and pull through just the first one. And that's our chain. And then yarn over and pull through two, and that's our single crochet for the second row. And we're just going to do this until we've got... 30 stitches. Okay, so just work your way through doing this. If you are stuck and need a more in depth video on how to do this particular stitch, do let me know and I'll create one. Um, but if you don't want to do this, you can just chain 31, join, um, and then do a row of single crochets, or in UK, a row of double crochets, and you'll get the same finish, or the same start rather. I'm going to speed this along to get to the 30 stitches so you can just meet me back at the end when we've got to 30 stitches and I'll show you how to join because we want to make sure we join it without a twist. Okay, so we've got our 30 stitches and we're going to want to join the ends to work on the round. Now, this is the top stitches we want to be working in. This is our chain. So you want to make sure that you turn that so that it's up. But I, you could turn it that way, but I find it's easier just to turn it that way so the working yarn's actually gone across the top there. And lift it out of the way. Hold your work out straight 
and then you basically want to fold it in half so that there's no twist in it from that point and then you're going to just slip stitch into that first stitch like that and by doing that you by folding it in half first you can see you know you definitely don't have a twist in it it's looped around correctly so that's how I find it easier to make sure I don't create a twist is to fold it in half and make sure that, that is smooth first okay so keep your working tail end out of the way but now the stitch that we're in first here we're just going to chain three so one two and three and that's our starting chain and now the starting chain the chain three will always count as your first double crochet in the UK that would be your first treble crochet okay now what we're going to do what is this is basically the setup row that's going to create this pattern that we follow along each time which is a shell a single crochet and a shell okay so in that same stitch where we slip stitch we're going to do four double crochets so we're going to yarn over and that's four treble crochets for UK okay so we're going to yarn over go through our stitch yarn over pull back through yarn over go through two and yarn over and go through two and that's our first one which of course counts as our second one because our chain will count as our first so we're just going to do this until you've got a total of five in that stitch so that's four double crochets or treble crochet UK and one chain will give you a total of five for the shell one two three four and five okay and then what we're going to do is you're going to skip the next two stitches so skip two V's basically here and you're going to go into the third stitch and do a single crochet which in UK is a double crochet so we're just going to pop your hook through yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through both and there's your single crochet or UK double crochet and this is all we're going to do repeating all the way around so we're going to skip two stitches again and then we're going to do five double crochets or five treble crochets in that third stitch so skip those two go into the third one and just do five double crochets or five treble crochets for UK this is our setup row so this is slightly different from the rest of the pattern okay, that's five so we're going to skip two and single crochet UK double crochet into that one and then skip two and do another shell There is a slow down button um, in the settings on YouTube so if you need it slower please do press that button um, and if your person needs it faster just speed it up. Um, I try to stay roughly in the middle of the speed level so that most people can see what we're doing but I know that some people need it slower so please just use the um, speed button within the YouTube settings um, because I can't really go much slower because otherwise it's unfair on those who do work at faster pace so by hopefully staying roughly in the middle I can meet most of your needs so we're gonna single crochet after skipping two again we're just gonna do this all the way around remember that's five double crochets or five treble crochets UK and then skipping to and doing the single crochet or your UK double crochet
So when you get to the end, you've got your last two to skip, what you want to do is slip stitch into the top of that chain three that you did at the beginning. And you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three on every round we do from now on. Okay, so that just joins it. If it's a little baggy there, don't worry, once you've woven in the end and joined the bottom half of the two ends, that neatens up. That's just because you've joined it um, one row, but obviously we were creating two rows, so the bottom row also needs to be joined when we weave in our end. That's all that is, so don't panic. <laughs> Think you've done something wrong, because you haven't. So, when you're done, if you fold it in half, you can see we've got five shells, because two here, two here and this one is folded in half so that's five shells is what you should have at this point okay so that's five double crochets into the same stitch it is my five shell pattern so I will refer to them as five shell and later on I'll refer to it as three shell because the way we create these shapings is actually just doing three double crochets or three treble crochets instead of five. So that's the simple way to do the shaping without having to worry about decreases and things. Okay, so now we've got this, we're going to work on the next row, which is basically the same pattern throughout, um, all the way around. Um, the only changes will be when we do the shaping and the increase for the thumb. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want a single crochet. Sorry, no, we want a double crochet. We'll create our next shell in the previous single crochet. So we've joined here, and the last stitch we've done was this single crochet. So all you're going to need to do is just take your hook, go back into that single crochet, yarn over, and slip stitch into it and now you're back in that single crochet and that's the one you want to work with so you're going to do that on every round when you join off you want to work with the last single crochet you did will be your first stitch in the next round nobody can see that you've gone slightly backwards while working it because the shells will cover over the little bump there makes okay I just find that's easier than having to slip stitch across the shell and then go into the first one that side so just going slightly behind makes it much easier and doesn't have the unsightly slip stitches across the top there okay so now we're into that single crochet we're going to do what we did before and we're going to chain three and then we're going to create five double sorry we're going to do four double crochets into that single crochet there uh, that's for treble crochets for UK um, and that's creating the next five shell okay so remember the chain three counts as your first double crochet so you want to create four and with chain three that will be, be your fifth double crochet and then once You've got your five double crochets. We're going to single crochet into the third double crochet on here. So if you can't quite see your stitches because of the chain three on this one, just look for your last double crochet here and you can see your V for that one is here. So you want to leave two unworked that side and you're going to go into the third one and that actually leaves two that side then. Okay, so we're just going to go in and do single crochet or UK double crochet into that stitch and now we're going to do five double crochets into the single crochet that we did in between those two shells down there so we're just going to do your five double crochets into the single crochet and this is what you're going to repeat the whole way around this this is the basic pattern now So we've done our five, so again we're going to single crochet or UK double crochet into that third double crochet stitch there. Okay, so once you've got your shell nestling in between the previous two at the bottom there, and that's going to be your whole pattern, just having the shell above nestling in between the two other ones, working into the single crochet of each one that's in between. Okay, so what we're going to do, we need a total of five rows of shells. So we're going to do four more rows. So that's the start up row and four rows of the 
full pattern to have five shells and they work in a diagonal so so like this is the first one the setup row and this is the row we're currently working on so if you go one two three and I'll go backwards here four and five that's what we're working so it's diagonal around and it all works around right, no, but you can also do that diagonal so here let's one two three four and that one on there would be the fifth so it's pretty easy to see how many rows you've done once you get used to seeing where each shell sits so once you've made a couple of these it'd be really simple for you I expect so we're just gonna keep going all the way around now and do that five double crochet so UK five treble crochet and then the single crochet into the top of the third double crochet or double crochet into the top of the third treble crochet for UK and this is basically the pattern so it's really nice and simple um, so the next bit you'll need to learn is when we do the um, shaping for the wrist so we just if you meet me back here, once we've got all of these rows done, I will do this first row to show you the finishing off again. Um, but after that, you can do the remaining rows and then meet me back to move on to the shaping for the wrist, okay? Okay, so I've done my last shell and then so I'm just going to do that single crochet, UK double crochet into the top of the third double crochet or treble crochet and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three we did at the beginning. Okay. So we slip stitch in and now remember the next excuse me, the next row you'd be working in that single crochet stitch that we just did. So you want to just move into the back of there and just slip stitch yourself back into that stitch so that you're in position to do your next chain three and the rest of your shelves so if you meet me back here when you have five rows done so you can just see on the corner here that's the starting row here so that's one two three four and five on the diagonal okay and that will be when we start this shaping on the wrist here and here okay so I'll see you back in a second okay so we've now got the five rounds total so it's one two three four and five shells see it's worked diagonally around so we've got five rows of shells it's time to start doing the decreased for the shaping around the wrist so it just fits nicely around the wrist now if you want these longer so they go further up your arm just do more rows here before you start the shaping it's that simple um, it's really easy to adjust this to the side so if you want them just to finish at the wrist you could do only one or two rounds and then do the decrease but if you want them longer just do more rounds here and then do your decreases. I say decreases, but they're not any major you know, putting stitches together. It's a nice and simple way to shape without having to combine stitches. So what we're going to do, we will obviously finish off here and we're going to go make sure we go back into that single crochet to start. And we're going to do what we did before, chain three. But now what we're going to do, instead of doing a shell five, we're going to do three, so obviously this counts as the first one, so we're going to do two double crochets or two triple crochets UK into that stitch and the chain three will count as your third and we're just going to do three in each one, so we'll continue to go into the third stitch for the single crochet here to join and when it comes to coming around here we'd go into the second you basically go into the middle of the shell that's all you need to worry about doing so no matter what your shell count just go into the middle of the shell the stitch that's in the middle and you're good so we're just going to do three double crochets in that next single crochet and then we're going to do uh, I said single crochet three double crochets 
three triple crochets UK there we go sorry so then we're going to do the single crochet or UK double crochet into the middle of that shell and keep going around just doing three double crochets or three treble crochets UK I'm sorry if people get annoyed with me saying one and then the other but it's much easier for me to do that than to create two videos with the exact same pattern in each term because that could that would be a lot of work that I don't have time for <laughs> so I combine them all into one but at the end of the day it, as long as you understand which stitch you're doing you can ignore what I say about the other one so we're just going to do this all the way around doing three double crochets or three triple crochet UK and then the single crochet or double crochet UK into the middle stitch of that shell which is the third stitch for the five double crochet or five treble crochet shell and by only doing three stitches instead of five you automatically make that area smaller and it shapes into your wrist and you're going to do the same thing of at the end you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three and that finishes off your round but as you can see if I put that down you can see it's already created that little dip in and that's all we want is just a gentle dip so on this side where we're not increasing thumb it's just a very gentle dip but this side where we increase for the thumb when we come back it looks like a bigger dip and that just makes it that little bit tighter there because on most people the wrist gets slightly narrower and then obviously with the thumb it goes back out again so a lot of wrist warmers have a baggy wrist area which I'm not keen on um, so I do the shaping if you like having a baggy area you don't need to do this shaping and you could just do the same amount of rows but do the five um, double crochets or five treble crochets instead of adding in the threes so it is, it's quite versatile you can change it to your personal comfort level so don't forget we're going to go back into that single crochet we did last and slip stitch into there and then we're going to do chain three again and then we're going to do three again three shell pattern and we're going to do rows six to eight in the three shell pattern okay so you, once you've finished doing the three shell pattern you should have eight shells total so eight rows total okay I'm just going to go all the way around so as you can see at this point we have a three shell so we're going to go into the second double crochet and the second triple crochet and that's in the middle of the shell I'm going to do that double crochet or UK or single crochet um, America and then back into the next single crochet in between the two shells and do your three double crochets or three treble crochets UK just going to do that all the way around for three rows so I'll meet you back here when we're done okay so we've got our eight rows so that's three rows of the three shells and five rows of the five shells okay Next we're going to go into our increase row which is where we increase for the thumb here. So we've got the shaping going out here. This slot will be back to doing the same stitch here so there's no increase here that's just how it will naturally work out again by going to the five shells but on this side we are doing one shell that's got seven st um, stitches in to create the gap to make the bigger thumb area okay did not explain that very well but hopefully you understood what I meant <laughs> so again we've finished off in slip stitch we're going to go back into that previous single crochet and we're going to chain three now what we want is to do seven total so we're going to do six double crochets or six treble crochets UK and obviously the chain three is our first one so it would be a total of seven for the shell
there we go so we've got seven double crochets or seven treble crochets so that's six actual ones and the chain three counts as the seventh or as the first really but you know what I mean so that's the only thing we're going to do for the increase on this row so we're going to go back to doing the five shells the five double crochets or the five treble crochets UK shells okay so we're going to go into the middle um, of the shell again so that's the second stitch and do our normal single crochet or UK double crochet and then we're going to go into the single crochet and do five double crochets or five treble crochets UK okay And just working around doing your five double crochets or five treble crochets and then your single crochet or double crochet UK into the top of the previous shell, previous rows shell. As usual, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And then put yourself back into the previous single crochet ready for the next row. Okay, so that's your first increase set up here for your thumb. Now what we're going to do is do Five single crochet, um, five double crochets. So that's five treble UK crochets into your single crochet that you've set yourself up in. So just do your five as you normally would. That's a five shell. And this is where it goes slightly different because we've got seven here what we're going to do is we're going to do our single crochet to finish off this shell we're going to do it into the second stitch so the second of the seven which is basically the first double crochet you did because obviously the first one is a chain and then we're going to skip one and go into the um, fourth double crochet or UK treble crochet and we're going to do three double crochets UK treble crochets so it's just a three shell into the center of that seven shell and this increases us gives us an extra shell for our increase for the thumb so then we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to go into the sixth double crochet or treble crochet and do our single crochet UK double crochet and that just gives us the shell and the single crochet each side on that seven and then we go back to doing our normal five stitch shell pattern rest of the way around so into that single crochet there I'm going to do five double crochets or five treble crochets Okay, so now I finished off that row. Now obviously with the nature of crochet, it spirals even when you're working in rounds. The stitch moves further back, especially as we are always going into the last stitch we went, and the last single crochet we did on the previous row is where we start. So you'll notice that the thumb increase will get further away from you. So try to make sure you can always work out where your increased thumb is, because you'll need that when we do the skip 
and it's usually easy to spot because you've got your seven and then in the middle of that seven you've got your three and it's the only three shell in a row of five so that's how it's easier to spot okay so the next row we're doing is basically back to doing the five shell rows so you're going to chain three remember make sure you've got yourself into that single crochet stitch I'm going to do five shells into this one as usual single crochet you get double crochet into the top of the shell below now remember we did single crochet three shell and a single crochet on the seven so make sure you're going into that single crochet there and do five double crochets or five treble crochets UK and this is what finishes off the increase for your thumb So we've done our five there, we've got the shell three, so remember just go into that middle stitch, so the second stitch and do your single crochet or UK double crochet and then you want to make sure you get that other single crochet straight after the three shell and you want to do your five into there. This puts the rounds back up to doing all five shells around the whole thing so what you can see now is you've got your seven stitches here and then you've got your three stitches with your single crochet each side and then you've got your five with the single crochet in the top of the three shell and that's now put you back to the full five stitch pattern okay so we're just going to keep going around with five shells and the single crochet, UK double crochet, into the top of the previous shell on the other row, previous row. Okay, so if we just lay that down there, you can really see the thumb shaping coming in. So if we put it that way, because that's where I showed you originally. So the thumb shaping is coming in lovely there. So it's just the normal gentle shape there and a much deeper increase on this side for the thumb. So that matches up along here, look. Okay, so you, you should be on 12 rows. So if you just count your shells. As your rows, and remember they go diagonally. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, hold on. We well, should be on eleven rows. I'm sorry. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so that's eleven rows done, and now we're going to work rows twelve to fifteen just following the same shell pattern we did down here so that's five shells and then a single crochet or UK double crochet and then five double crochets or five triple crochets UK which is the five shell stitch pattern. Okay so I will meet you back here when we've done fifteen rows total okay so that's another three rows you want to do okay no, four rows. <laughs> I can't count. Another four rows. So you want to finish on row 15, okay? Okay, so we've got our 15 rows here and it's now time to section off that thumb hole there, which we're just going to skip some stitches and then go across. So the one thing you have to notice in different sizes, depending on which size of these you're making, you will either have to skip a shell, a single crochet and a shell or you'll have to skip a single crochet, a shell and a single crochet because obviously each row 
has the shells in a different place. So depending on how many you've done here will depend on what you're skipping. But on this smallest size, we are skipping a shell, a single crochet, and a shell, okay? So you can see the two shells line up along there. So you need to remember where your increase is for your thumb. So remember, just look for the seven shell and then the three shell directly in the middle of it. And that's where your thumb is. So you just need to fold that down in half and you'll have two shells that line up along there and that's your thumb area so that's where you're going to be skipping so you're going to single crochet up to this um, not single crochet you're going to do your shell pattern up to this single crochet and then you're going to skip those ones and go straight into this single crochet so I will show you that as we get round there so remember make sure you're set up in that previous single crochet do your normal so do your normal five shell pattern so that's five double crochets or five treble crochet UK and then do your single crochet UK double crochet into the top of the previous row shell so we're just going to do that around until we get to where we have to skip My yarn apparently has a knot in it, so we're trying to make sure that that gets put within the stitch at the back so it doesn't get noticed. So just play with your yarn a little if you have a knot that comes out the front and try to make it go to the inside. Unfortunately, it's something that happens with various yarns as you end up with a knot in your yarn. Okay, so I've done one, two, three, and four shells there. And I'm going to. Oh. Yep. Check your line up here. And this is where we're skipping, so we are. We're not going to do into the top of that shell with the single crochet that we normally would. Instead, we're going to skip that and we're going to chain one. And then we're going to miss that shell shell we're going to miss that single crochet and we're going to miss that second shell so we're skipping two shells and a single crochet and we're actually going to go straight across over to this single crochet after that second shell and we're going to do our five single um five double crochets or five treble crochets uk into that single crochet stitch i'll show you what it looks like as soon as i've done this and then obviously we do the normal single crochet into that shell and at that point we're at the end of your round so slip stitch into the top of the chain three you did at the beginning so as you can see we've skipped the two shells and the single crochet and we have a single crochet going across that with just the two shells and that um, chain one sorry that chain one is going to be where you put your shell in between these two so that's basically acting as what it would have been if you'd done your single crochets into the top of this one so what you should have if it's folded in half now you can see you have two shells here and two shells here and one shell that is bent around so you've got a total of five shells that you're now working with and you're going to do three rows 
of the normal five shell pattern around here but doing one of the shells over that chain one space okay so we we'll just do that Okay, so we've got to that chain one space after going into the top of that shell and we're just going to do work our five double crochets or five treble crochets in over that chain one stitch. So we're literally just going around that stitch. See it just moves around, okay? So just do your five in there and that's going to be your shell from the next for the next round then. Then you can single crochet, UK double crochet on top of the shell next to it and then that's that round finished so slip stitch on top of the chain three and there you have your first chain, um, your first shell on the new section where your thumb is so that's creating this bit here. Now different people like these at different lengths where you want it to finish on your hand um, so if you want it to finish around your knuckles that tends to be three rows for me but if you'd like them longer or a bit shorter you can ch adjust the amount of rows you do here but my pattern has it for doing three rows so you have a total of 19 stitches when we're done and um, 19 rows when we're done so Ooh, this back in so we're just going to do the five shell pattern all the way around like we've been doing normally now because the stitch is back up to just following the pattern around no modifications Okay, so that's the two shells and single crochet into that shell below. That gives you row two of the um, point. So you could try that on at this point and see if it sits where you like it or whether you want to make it any longer. I'm going to do one more round because I prefer it to be a little further up on my hands. Um, and that's what my niece is have hers hat and so I'm using her as a rough guide for what hopefully most other people around 11, 10, 11 would like because um, these fit my niece and she is a very small 11 year old um, so they are can fit younger children but obviously the smaller size with the smaller hook would be better for much younger children and if you made it with a full ply yarn and a uh, two mil hook or um, a three mil hook, it would be even smaller and fit even smaller hands. But I don't have any four ply yarn to show you that I'm afraid. So we're just going to get on with this last stitch. 
um, the last round, which again is just the basic five shell round. And then all we have to do is finish off and weave in our ends. There we go, that's the end of that one. So we're just gonna after you've done your slips it's just chain one and then grab your scissors and cut your yarn. Leave a good towel to be able to weave in your ends and then just pull that towel through. Give it a good old yank so that it's tight down there. And then you just need to weave in your ends. So that is turn it that way, the smaller size I do of my shower pattern and I hope that helps. As I said this is good for 11 and under probably depending on the size of your child. Uh, my boys are quite big but my niece is a very small 11 year old um, so I think it's a judgement call on who they're going to fit but I'll have the measurements of these in the written pattern hopefully down in the description if I remember as well so that you can see before you start hopefully which size you need to make but for now this is the smallest size obviously made with the bigger hook and if you made them with the 3.5 mil same pattern it would be that bit smaller look okay so I hope that's helpful just put that back in there so I know which one that is and I will quickly show you how I weave in my ends so just get a nice yarn needle I use a yarn needle that's got a squishy eye I find it goes through the yarn easier but any plastic yarn needle will do the job or even a metal one if you've got one so work on the inside so just kind of fold it over a little just tuck yourself down in between those stitches to get yourself down there and then all we're going to do is just weave in and out with some stitches and along through your shells just so you've got the yarn firmly rooted inside your thing so don't just go through the stitch go through the yarn that will help secure it just that little bit more and you want to go backwards and forwards and up and down so that no matter which way this gets pulled, the stitches and the uh, tail end should stay in there pretty stable. Okay. Just kind of work them through. Make sure you haven't come out to the other side. And then, once you've gone backwards and forwards and up and down a few times, you can weave in your ends. And you'll do the same on this end. So. Again, you want to make sure you're working on the inside. So, remember on the bottom one, you're going to want to hook in that bottom chain so that you actually tie the bottom stitch together. So, just hook in and create a loop to tie that in, and that just brings that edging together that we've got separate from doing the foundation chainless start. Um, so, and then we're just going to do the same thing, weaving in and out and up and down, backwards and forwards, any which way really, you just want to make sure that that tail end is smoothly and securely in the yarn so that it doesn't come out. The longer you end, the more you'll have to work with, so always leave a really good. It's better to have too much ends to weave in than not enough. 
I'm going to snip it off. Do a little pull to make sure the end is tucked inside your stitches. You want to try to make sure it gets tucked right in there. And that's your end woven in. So that's your two done. So I hope you like that. And I will see you all soon. You take care. Bye.